regulation of the internet industry. So why is Big Brother getting involved in the first place? Uh, joining me with reaction is Tennessee Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn. Uh, Congresswoman, uh, government regulation of the internet, good idea or bad? It's a very bad idea. You know, this is one of those areas that the FCC is usurping the power of Congress. And what they're trying to do is put themselves in as the roadblock, the gatekeeper, and block the Internet service providers, the ISPs, from making decisions about how to manage their networks. Basically, it is a taking, if you will. And I look at this and say this is a step toward nationalizing the Internet. Internet. It is a step toward the FCC taking that power. The Internet is not broken doesn't need to be fixed. They have not been blocking programming. Most people are very pleased with their broadband and internet service. So basically what we see from the FCC is a hysterical reaction to a hypothetical problem. That's, that's right. As you, as you say, the, the internet is one of the few things around that still works precisely because it isn't regulated by the government like everything else that's, uh, that's sliding that's, off the cliff. That's correct. Uh, That's correct, and you know what we see. Many people have have said, you know, I like the Internet the way it is. Why are they trying to uh, go in here? And what we have to realize is that in this going in, they are writing rules for the first right. time. Right. There have not been rules on the Internet. No, and, and as you say, it is a usurpation of, uh, of, uh, of real lawmaking powers. A court right. has said that the uh, FCC should not do this. Uh, if, if you do this and your constituents in Tennessee don't like it, they can vote you out. Three guys that nobody's ever heard of have basically just decided uh, to put the World Wide Web under federal regulation. Nobody knows who they are. Right. Nobody knows what uh, polling station you go to to vote them out. This, this is micro-regulatory tyranny, isn't it? Yes, indeed it is. And uh, you can be assured that we're going to vigorously oppose this. Let me give you the steps that we're going to follow, what the way forward is going to be come January. First of all, we're going to move process, move forward with the process of congressional review and actually move forward with a resolution of disapproval on that. We are also going to go through the funding process. And Senator Hutchison has already stepped forward on this. We will make certain that we block the usage of funds for implementing this uh, takeover of the Internet, net neutrality, or as I call it, the fairness doctrine for the Internet. Right. And item number three is legislation I have had that would explicitly block the FCC from implementing net neutrality and forcing those rules into place. So we've got a legislative answer, we have the congressional review, and we have the funding sources. I, I hope all those things come to pass, but just as you're explaining them, uh, you, you emphasize how difficult it is uh, in some ways for accountable legislators, the people's representatives, to restrain uh, these, uh, these uh, control freaks in the regulatory agencies. This is an FDR era agency. It comes from 1934. It was set up to uh, regulate uh, Marbell and Western Union. And that problem went away. Uh, but the FCC didn't go away. The FCC is here forever and is looking to increase its powers and seize new powers and new areas for government regulation. And in that sense, isn't this just a microcosm of what's gone wrong uh, with, with uh, our systems of government over the last three quarters of a century? Yes, precisely. You're exactly right on that. And that is one of the reasons that in the pledge, we have the provision that we will pull in and review all rules and regulations that have more than a $100 million impact on our nation's economy. Certainly this does, because every year, our telecommunications companies, our internet service providers, broadband companies, industry distributors spend over, get this, $60 billion a year mm. of private sector money building out and maintaining these networks. And now the federal government is wanting to regulate that. In addition, what we are seeing from this order is they are wanting to go in. The FCC wants to be the gatekeeper for all the new applications that come to the marketplace. You know, people right. are going to the app store, and now those innovators would have to apply with the App Store. Another provision here. Uh, we have uh, 
we we are as I said you know the FCC is wanting all the apps but also look at this we have the companies that have built these networks that have bid on this spectrum they have leased this spectrum they have built the networks all of that is one provision on the technical end but then we also have the provisions that come under the FTC with the internet as a commerce platform right. where we get into the issues of property rights and piracy and intellectual property protections so they are walking into an area where they do not need to be it is a severe overreach we are going to get in behind this and make certain we hold them accountable federally regulated apps that's just what America needs thank you very much <laughs> congresswoman and uh, and Merry Christmas